This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. We're at CES Unveiled in Las Vegas, and this is Mac Voices. I'm here with Dean of Betta to talk about their sleep tracking device and app. Dean, it's great to see you. Well, thank you, Chuck. So tell me about Betta. So bet it is the easiest, most convenient way to track your sleep. Simple as that. I, I need this because I don't. I haven't been sleeping well. I think I have a guilty conscience. Well, we'll help you understand it. Um, and the great advantage of a sleep tracker is it allows you to track your sleep, as it says. And when we think about improving things, the first thing that most of us do when we want to improve something is start tracking it. Your weight. You look at a scale. You know how much you weigh. You think I want to. Oh, I want to lose some weight. We know what that means, but when you think, I want to get a better night's sleep, what do you do? It doesn't make sense. So we've made it simple. We give you a score every night, um, a score of zero to 100, so it's really intuitive. And we make any bed a smart bed, so you don't have to go out and buy a $5,000 bed. You can buy a $149 bed at Sleep Tracker, put it on your mattress, under your sheet, install an app on your iPhone or your Android device, lay down on it, go to sleep, oh, th that's it. And then you wake up in the morning and, you know, like I did for New Year's Day, not so well. I, I, New Year's Day. Yeah. But the next day, I got 100. Wow. So I can look at these numbers and I can actually look down at the data and know that this was a pretty good night for me. Heart rate dropped down pretty nicely. If I look at the night before, that's a terrible night. Now, I kind of knew that, but this is a good way to see how well I slept. And then what we do is we take that data, we analyze it, and then we offer tips and hints, most of which are things you probably know but don't do, and we, so we, we remind you. And then uh, early this year, or early last year, I should say, um, we uh, uh, were able to launch a version of our product with Apple. So we're in all Apple retail stores worldwide. And we have a watch app so that the companion app for our sleep tracker is on your Apple Watch when you wake up in the morning, instead of tracking it with your Apple Watch, because Apple really doesn't want you to use your watch to track your sleep, we give you your score, we help you analyze it so you don't have to look at some other screen, and then during the day when it's not, maybe you had that 49 that I showed you a minute ago, we're going to poke you in the early afternoon and say, maybe it'd be a good time to take a nap. Take a nap, track your nap, and then use the Taptic Engine to kind of wake you back up before you get into too deep a sleep. Ah, that's interesting. So it's not just a device, it also works with the watch and, and it goes more toward just sleep health, I guess is a good term. Yeah, so sleep tech is, is evolving. Um, there's, within the Bedit family, there's the sensor. It's a piezoelectric sensor that goes on the mattress. There's the app that runs on your, on your phone. Um, and then there's a, uh, our algorithm and our software actually runs locally on the phone. So you're not, you don't have to upload your sleep data to the cloud. If you want to keep it private on your phone, you can do that. But we do have a cloud app and a cloud API. So if you want to sync that data in the cloud, we don't charge you for it. It's free. Um, it's an open API. And there's a lot more data there than we show you in the app itself. And you can basically indefinitely store your data on the cloud, where on the phone you can only store about 90 days worth. Does this integrate with HealthKit? It does integrate with HealthKit. Um, I can't probably do it quick enough yeah. here, but yeah, it's a, it completely integrates. So when you set up in HealthKit, you just tell it to look and take the data from Bedit, and you'll see our sleep data as part of your HealthKit data. Very nice. And you said the device itself is 149. Yeah, there's actually two versions. So uh, the first version we launched uh, two years ago on Indiegogo. Um, it's today available at Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Army Air Force Exchange, APHIS, uh, on Amazon, on our website at uh, bedit.com. And then the new version, which is smart, the difference between the two is that we use the Bluetooth smart feature on iOS and only on iOS today. It doesn't run on Android that way. So when you lay down on it, it automatically tracks your sleep rather than you having to tell it, I'm going to sleep now or when you wake up. So it's fully automated, very easy to use. Um, we, I know people that use it and don't know they're using it. They just forget and just let it run. You know, a week or two later, you might be having a bad day. You look back and say, oh, I haven't been sleeping very well. Okay, well, let's do something about it. Very nice. And the, and the website is bedit.com. Bedit.com. Yep. 
Dean, thank you so much. Very interesting product. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We'll be back with more from CES in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.